Mary, welcome to Florida and to Misunderstood. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for inviting me. I'm so happy to be here. I feel like I've been stalking you for at least a year. It's been at least that long, possibly <laughs> more than that. It's okay. I've been stalking back. <laughs> Good. Because I just feel like you are somebody that has a story that people want to know more and are kind of obsessed with you. And I just feel like you are the perfect person for my show. So I'm well, so honored you. that you're here. Seriously. Thank you. And you're visiting Orlando. Tell us why you're in town. Yeah, I'm actually here to do a couple of other business retreats and trainings. So... Fun. Yeah. That's yeah. so exciting. You're now like an entrepreneur. I mean, I've been an entrepreneur for a hot minute, but I'm just building on that every day. Love it. All right. Yeah. So we're going to get into that. But I know people okay. want me to shut up and get exactly into why you are here, which is to talk about you. So I, I really want to start from the beginning because people that might be listening to our show don't know your full, full story. They just know you from the show, if they know you from the show at all. Right. Mm -hmm. So Talk to me about your childhood. I want to know where you were born. I know that you come from, you know, a lot of siblings. And so just tell me a little bit about your childhood. Yep. Okay. So I was born in Northern California. Mm -hmm. And when I was young, my parents embraced a polygamous lifestyle. Okay. Um, I, they kind of embraced the lifestyle prior to me actually like having another sibling. I think I was like 12 years old, 11 years old before I had a sibling that was not from my mom, but from another, you know, another mom. Right. Um, but yeah, so I was, I was raised in the lifestyle. And when you were younger, did you feel like that was normal? Did you feel like your mother felt jealous? Did you like the other mom? Did you call her mom? What, how did that all work? You know, I didn't call them mom. Okay. I did use their names. Um, and I don't know that you can have a plural family without there being some sort of jealousy. I think that's normal. Right. And honestly, that's something that I didn't realize was normal until a lot later in my journey. Right. Because it's like, it's almost like you're made to believe that you shouldn't, it, you, like you're bad if you have those jealousy feelings, because this was like a religious practice, a religious belief. Right. And if you have a feeling or an emotion, you're bad, right. <laughs> you know, and that's, that's not the case. And your parents, did they choose to do that lifestyle because they came from that lifestyle or this was a new thing in their community? Nope, it was, it was new to them. Um, they actually were in the Mormon LDS faith. Okay. Um, and since that faith does not believe in polygamy, uh -huh. they were excommunicated when I was really young. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then, and then they embraced this plural lifestyle. And how many siblings did you have between your mom and, and your dad? Seven. Seven. Yeah. There's just seven of us. Just seven. <laughs> just just seven. <laughs> seven. Just seven. And then the additional ones were I how have, many? There's 25 total. Stop. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I wasn't raised with all of them. Okay. You know, like I say, I was like 11 or 12 when I had my, when I got my first sibling from another mom. Right. You know, so a lot of them are a lot younger than me. Yeah. But I'm really close. Like, I've got one sister. Like, I'm like super tight with yeah but she's like I don't know 20 years younger than me right <laughs> you know? of course so we weren't even raised together so interesting do you think they watch your show uh some of them do yeah yeah and are they okay like how do they feel about it some of them are real cool about it and some of them are still really private you have right. to understand in the plural community in a polygamous family like it is so looked down on hmm. like it's really looked down on like I was raised basically in hiding Wow. Like okay. I had to hide. My mom taught me homeschool. And this is before we even had another another right. mom in the family. Okay. But back in the seventies, mm. you know, <laughs> when you're doing homeschool, that was like very taboo. That was a no no. But why do you think hiding? Just because there was a sense of shame or just because you were very private and no, you could get in trouble. My parents could have gotten in trouble just for doing homeschool back in the seventies. Oh, and then having multiple wives like right. this is Utah yeah this is Utah we're talking and it's illegal yeah you know so people were put in jail all the time oh my goodness okay I yeah. didn't realize that yeah okay so what was your upbringing in terms of um ideas of love and marriage I mean I know we're talking about the fact that the, there was multiple women at right. this point but what did you think love meant I just thought love was you love somebody and and you care about somebody and you take care of them and you know you get married and it's it's eternal right 
You know, it's like a forever thing. It's not just in, in this life. Okay. You know. So divorce wasn't like. I mean, it happened. I think that divorce happens in the plural community probably as much as it does anywhere else. Oh. Um, so divorce isn't frowned upon. I mean, it's not promoted. Right. But, <laughs> right. <laughs> but it happens, right. you know. Well, I just feel like in a non-plural relationship, I think a lot of people get married younger, younger and younger mm -hmm. thinking, oh, well, I could just get a divorce. You know, or it's super right. easy to marry somebody and then you can get divorced later. Yeah, and let's people... try it out and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. and the vows don't really mean anything. So right. I guess my question is more like, did you believe that vows meant like this is forever? This is the person I want to be I absolutely with? did. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was my intention when I got married. Okay. At 19 years old. At 19. Right. Yeah. So before we get to that, <laughs> what was your dating life before that? Um. <clears throat> basically non-existent <laughs> oh wow okay so it wasn't like you had some high school boyfriend and, no okay no. so Cody was your first boyfriend yeah and was it a massive love affair was it like your first love like I kind of am still in love with my first love right you know what I mean it's like yeah. a childhood love of yeah. course I wasn't with him for right 35 right. years or whatever yeah. it was but so what was it like I mean, you know, there was, I, I remember seeing all my friends like dating and having all these guys like them and nobody liked me. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? You know, and there were, there were Aww. a couple of guys that I kind of, you know, liked and mm -hmm. stuff, but obviously nothing ever happened with it. But, um, so when I met Cody, he was very interested in me. Contrary to what he says now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just had to say that. No. Um, no, like he was very interested in me. It was fun. He was, he talked a lot. Right. Like he talked a lot. He was very jovial, very happy. Like he was smiling all the time. Okay. You know, and I really, really enjoyed that. And know? what was it like in your community? I mean, are you guys like riding around in each other's cars and making out is sex before marriage a thing or you have to like oh no 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 okay no, that's that's not a thing wow he okay. actually didn't even kiss me until a week after we were engaged oh yeah wow <laughs> yeah, so. so but did you feel chemistry like did you know this oh, was yeah. the one yeah okay yeah i mean we had we had you know a lot of conversations about it and it was something that we were definitely both interested in and when i married him my intention was for eternity. It was a forever right. marriage. 